I'm Mark Riley in his own right, whatever that means. Delighted to say I've been joined by the cravats. Hello, fellas. Hello, indeed. So, the Shend, it seems like we've been talking about this session for years now. It has been going on a bit of a while, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah but, I mean, I don't care, so long as we get there in the end. We're, we're here. Yeah. We're here, and we're ready. You most certainly are. And uh, you, 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 it's like you've, and a, locked, a landlocked um, drop-off for you, because you were in Blackpool over the weekend, weren't you? We were at the Rebellion Punk Festival, yes. OK, we'll talk about that later, All and right. then you're going back to Brighton tonight. So um, you've got yeah, the canal by you, you'll feel quite at home. It would be good if we could sail down the canal, but unfortunately it's a long drive. And you can Well, you can sail from here to Liverpool, but it probably doesn't help mm, a lot, nah, does it? No, nah, you're right. Not a lot. All right, you're going to do a tune for us now then, uh, The Cravats. What's his first song called? Uh, it's called XMP. OK, great, go for it. Fabulous stuff, the Cravats live in session with XMP. We'll have two more tunes from the guys and a bit of a chat a bit later on in the programme. I'm Mark Riley in Media City in Salford, been joined once again by the Cravats. Hello, fellas. Hello. So, at uh, the Shen, please introduce the band members, would you? OK, well, um, we have Rampton Garstang on drums. <laughs> oh. And uh, the Reverend Jay Grumble on bass Good guitar. Evening. Good evening. Uh, the Ibbult Ball, that's four nine on saxophone. Of course. And Rex Speedway on fuzz. And my good self. My good jolly self. Absolutely. And uh, you did very well to remember all of the names. Uh, oh, well, it's, it's sometimes difficult. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Listen, do another tune, then we'll have a chat. So all what's right. the next song going to be from the Cavats? It's uh, I Am The Dreg. We're doing our Rufty Tufty tunes yeah. tonight. Yeah. Great stuff. Go for it. Take it, you 
Thank you. Uh, absolutely brilliant. I am the dreg, performed live by the cravats in the studio here with me tonight. Uh, so, the Shen, we just mentioned earlier, you came back, you've just on your way back from the Rebellion Festival. Yes. In Blackpool. Yes. And there are people out there who won't be aware of any of the cravats history at all, but uh, is it right that you formed in 1977? Um, yes, well, that's when we formed back in Redditch in the Midlands. Right, OK. And so were you in other bands before that? I mean, you were, were you no, in a... No, it was... Um, we went and saw the Stranglers, basically, at Barbarella's in Birmingham, and came back and uh, gave up doing HND business studies applications to uh, Warwick University. Uh, right, OK. I mean, is that a bit true? Yes, that is true, actually. Right, OK. You just, you I never... ran away when I was in the um, uh, careers advice office, and they said, here's the form you need to fill in to become a assistant manager at Tesco's or whatever it was I was looking forward to becoming and um, when she went in the back room I ran out and thought yeah I'm going to be a pool crocket right okay and you were and uh, and, and the cravats were, were uh, pretty immediately signed to Small Wonder weren't yeah, you? yeah um, Pete Stennett and Mary uh, instantly like Gordon which was our self-finance first single uh, pay for Bummy Mum 400 quid right. and um, they snapped us up Right, OK. And so, um, obviously, with you being around in 1977, you, you were right at the heart of things and the start of things. So did you see all of the bands coming through at the time? Did you see um, the Sistles and everybody? Yeah, I did at Barbara House in Birmingham, but in Redditch there was nothing. Yeah, so people used to ring us up and go, we're having a party, please don't come. You know. Right, OK. Well, I mean, Redditch, no no offence, obviously, to Redditch, but it's most famous for Kevin Turvey, isn't it? Yeah, indeed, and he's from actually, he's actually from Droitwich, sir. So. Well, there you go. Yeah, I know. See, he's, he's, he's just j- jumping on your bandwagon. Well, exactly, he was. But, uh, no, we love Kevin Turvey. Yeah. And so uh, so anybody doubting your credentials to be there at this Rebellion Festival is obviously way off the mark. Way off the mark, indeed. So, yeah, but can you tell me what was the weekend like? Because I remember um, the, the fall did the first ever Future Armour Festival. Yeah. 1979. At, um, a big hall. It was like, I think it was a, a bus depot or something in Leeds. A Queen Elizabeth or somewhere or other. And, uh, but it was full of punks. I mean, it really was rammed to the wall of punks. And uh, a good few of them were at the back sniffing glue and yeah, really, yeah. really... It, it, it's it was not a like bit, that. It was a bit untidy. So, yeah. I mean, you've got wall-to-wall punks for a weekend with hundreds of bands. I've had a look at the lineup. Yeah, it's something like 240 bands or something. And right. How many stages are there? Eight, nine, ten stages. Right. But uh, everybody's sort of grown up a bit, so you still get the multicoloured hair and the um, uh, cavalistic clothing, right. but um, everybody's sort of really nice to each other and polite. Yeah, I mean, see, it's, it happens every year. It's an annual event, yeah, is that right? yeah. So is it, I mean, is that where you meet up? Because I was wondering, an awful lot of these bands, you just see them coming out and just doing that uh, that particular festival. Mm. I presume there are festivals, equivalent festivals in like Holland and Germany, are there? Yeah, yeah, we, d- we did one in um, Tilburg, Incubate Festival, which is fantastic. And uh, th- more so over there, but uh, it's, it mixes with film and poetry and lots of other things. So it's, you know, it broadens it out a bit. Yeah, I, I, do you know, I think there's a really great documentary to be made there of yeah. these punk festivals. Because, I mean, it's like you say, oh, yeah, they're slaughtering the dogs. All the bands that, you know, have been going off and on, uh, like yourselves, for years and years. So, have you piled up with any of these guys, you know, are they, are they kind of real kindred spirits? Or do you just get down there, do your business and go away? Um, there are certain bands that you just, you know, yeah, you um, you like very much. Because they, it's the experimentation of it, really. Um, we're never particularly keen on the sort of straight down the line stuff and uh, always like the weird stuff so yeah same here i have to say but i mean looking at the i mean you've got roots dc the only ones buzzcocks rancid so you've got the different generations yeah. as well and public image sort on the dogs monochrome set again slightly different uh, and the lurkers pretty straight ahead punk but in there i saw there was a band called the pukes oh yes which uh, can you tell me about the pukes i'm just wondering if they're bandwagon jump in no right um, I, good i, I, I Unfortunately, never saw them. Right, okay. I don't, why? I don't know. Yeah. With 240 bands, you know, you obviously miss a few. You can't have them all, can you? one of them, I'm afraid. But I wish I knew more about the Pukes. I'm just wondering if they're kind of a tongue in cheek band who just formed recently with the name that had to be had by a punk yeah, band. I, the Pukes. I would not know. Right, but I'm sure okay. somebody will write to you and tell you. I'm sure they will, actually. And also, Here and Now, which. I know is really I mean they were right from that I mean if you want to talk about anarchy I suppose they were there before the punk scene because of you know the of gong, gong and, and all that, all that yeah. kind of stuff well, uh, I mean uh, like I said you, you can mix a lot of things now because mm. everybody's got more of an open mind yeah. so yeah you can have here and now being all 
And um, and the lurkers not. <laughs> the lurkers not, or ranted <laughs> not. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And uh, also we need to, uh, an honorary mention to the very things, the bushy screen, right. Mama Daddy Prunes, which uh, you absconded from the cravats and formed. Indeed. Uh, so, I mean, there's, there's a legion of history. Like I say, there's a documentary, let alone in the Rebellion Festival, but also in the cravats. Um, but uh, we haven't got time here. We're yeah. here to play music, aren't you? So what are you going to do for us for the last tune tonight, then? And we'll do uh, Who's In Here With Me. OK, great. Fabulous, the cravats live in session for the last time tonight. Who's in here with me? And um, so the show, there is a CD available, isn't it? A double CD. Oh, yeah, there. the You've... cravats in Toy Town. Yeah. Which has just come out on Overground Records, which is a compilation of all the um, Small Wonder singles as well, and a fantastic bonus LP by uh, Penny Rimbo reimagining the original 8-track Masters. Yeah, fabulous stuff. And you've got some dates coming up on the 11th of August, Saturday the 11th of August, which is this Saturday, isn't it? Uh, mm-hmm. The Albert in Brighton with Deadbeat Descendant. Then Yay! on the 14th of September, the Lexington in London with Zounds and Paranoid Visions. And then on the 26th of October, you're playing in Preston with the Stupids and HDQ. Indeed. Super. You'll have to come to that one. Yeah, I would love to, actually. Yeah, OK, Friday the 20th. Yeah, right, I'll put that in my diary for sure. So, uh, a joy to see you, fellas. Thanks very much for coming in. Absolute pleasure, and thank you so much. It's a pleasure for me and, and the listeners. I'll have you know. Six.